Dinosaur bones that I found in my back garden? I'm afraid not. It is a replica of the bones of the human foot. I want to share with you another tip this evening on how to support happy, healthy feet. So over the last week or so, I've been given a few basic tips on how to support foot health. Just simple stuff. I was talking about the toe box. So this area of the shoe is called a toe box and that should accommodate the shape of your foot, the natural shape of your foot. Often they are very narrow and that squishes your toes together, which is not good. That can lead to issues further down the line, all sorts of different issues. Um, and really you want to have breathing room for your toes. Your toes want to move and spread um, in the, the way they're designed to. It's much more stable and gives you a better gait within your foot. The movement pattern of your foot as you walk is much healthier when your toes have breathing room. Um, but we're not used to that because really we are stuck in shoes most of the day and the shoe is kind of molding or casting our foot to the shape of the shoe and we need to give time to give breathing room to our toes so we can do a really simple stretch by just getting our fingers in between our toes and just wriggling them around, squeezing and releasing and seeing how that feels when you do it. For some people, this will be really uncomfortable. They won't be able to get their toes or their fingers in between their toes. And in that case, you can think about something like an alignment sock. Um, you just very simply with an alignment sock, Pop it on and the spacers go between your toes. And when you're trying this initially, so I this is a well-worn sock because I've had these a couple of years and I'm used to wearing them. But initially when you put this on, as I said, it could, you know, the, the your toes might not might not have spread apart in a very long time. And initially you might just put the spacer between the very top and that might be all you're able to do. And you might only do that for five or 10 minutes. But then as the ligaments and tendons get a little bit more comfortable with spreading apart, you can push it down further and pull the sock down a bit further and you might spend longer time in the alignment socks supporting your toes spreading Rem they're they're remembering how to spread because often we have all of this flexibility and mobility as a child um but then as we develop and we're in adulthood we're in shoes all day long and your toes are just not getting the chance to spread themselves out so this is a, a straightforward simple way to passively stretch your toes apart so there's two options there for you to support flexible mobile toes <laughs>